Welcome to Bond SEX, where X marks the spot to get you on the top. This is Lance the Bargain Stock Bounty Hunter back at you again with another great place of the week. This is week 52, December 26th through December 30th, last week of the year. Uh, it's been an interesting, very interesting trading year. And uh, happy holidays to those um, that are out there listening and uh, bringing this video on the 25th. So um, there's no trading on the 26th, so the market will actually be closed on the 26th, and then the trading will open up on the 27th for the last trading week of the year. And so uh, let's get into um, some of the call-outs, or let's start off with the market overall. So looking into the NASDAQ composite, again, I've uh, been tracking this a whole year, but as of the last six months, I've been projecting this one to be in this dotted line, this dotted blue zone here. You see last week, uh, the NASDAQ fell down below this blue uh, zone here. Um, did definitely uh, had a poor Monday, Tuesday, and we can see it uh, kind of pull back up on Thursday, Friday slightly. I uh, like what I'm seeing in the momentum coming into this week. And uh, so I do think this one can pull back into zone uh, kind of in this corner park, corner pocket where, uh, again, I expect it to be uh, somewhere about six months ago. So um, no surprises here. Um, it did fall below this uh, progressive band that had actually supported um, going all the way back to October. See it supported in November a couple of times. So we saw that fall below that last week. So I think uh, there'll be a lot of battling back in, in the next a couple of days to, to get this back into to the zone here. So I think by Friday with the NASDAQ, anywhere between 10,677 to around 10,822 is my projection for the NASDAQ. Moving on to the New York Stock Exchange and um, very similar. Um, See this one falling into zone last week and actually supporting it um, somewhat Thursday and Friday. I do see some resistance here on the blue and potentially on the green here. So I expect this one will, will fall below uh, potentially Wednesday, Thursday and battle back maybe Friday to get somewhere around the 14,959 to 15,177. Similar with the MACD and the momentum. It's a little pull back, pull up. So um, this one could definitely be uh, in between these two blue zones by Friday or could present itself to be a little better. Um, we see it pretty much just ho hovering over this uh, SMA that you see hidden behind here. That's this green line here that turns red right in through here. So that's the SMA. Just kind of hovering back and forth over that. So going into the year, um, definitely we'll – um, see what the next projections will be um, at that point. So these projections will really end uh, in this year, and then I'll pr present some new projections going into the new year. So moving on to the plays of the week, got about five this week. Um, so Golden Ocean comes in <clears throat> at a trend of a four, pretty good trend. It was a trend of a two, I believe, last week. So it's moved up into a trend of a four. So definitely moved in pretty well. Uh, it's 29 cents overpriced, true value of $8.93. So I think we can get in a little cheaper than that this week. And let's look at Golden Ocean. And this is a C uh, transport company. And uh, it won't do a, an uh, analysis on this one because uh, we just called just call this one out last week. And so um, I definitely saw what ha happened last week. It didn't quite come down to my price point. It did uh, give a great buying opportunity um, below true value, as you see here in the red. And then it pumped back up on Tuesday, and Wednesday, Thursday. I see a little bit of pullback Thursday, Friday. But definitely um, from true value, you know, just from that point to the high, looking at about almost 8% from last week. Again, I was looking to get in a little cheaper at 829, um, but definitely see this one's bullish. We see the teal above the green, above the red and the blue. 
Again, these are our Williams alligator indicators that I use. So we see the momentum really starting to change here. Um, and it's definitely in a bullish, um, bullish mode here. And so uh, I think this week, 841 uh, seems pretty reasonable. If it can come down to that, um, that is a bit of a stretch. I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, touched down on the blue um, EMA here from the Williams Alligator at 860. But I'm going to go down at 840 this week um, with a potential by Friday, anywhere between 871 to $9. So anywhere between 8 and 3%. Somewhere in that range, uh, do like what I'm seeing with the MACD opening up. Um, momentum's above the, the middle the middle line here, midpoint. And again, this one is bullish, um, and it has some way to go to attack this SMA. So great opportunity to get in with Golden Ocean this week. $8.41 is my call out. Next on the list is Rocket Labs. Comes in at a flat trend this week, $0.17 cents on sale. True value of $3.94. Um, call Rocket Labs out. And this was another one I called out last week. And so we'll go back over the whole uh, year over year. Um, so let's look at last week, how it performed. So I called it out at $3.90. Um, we see on Monday, definitely came down at $3.90. And Tuesday fell below and stayed below Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. See a little bit of pullback here. On uh, Thursday and Friday, nice, nice pullback here. I think at $3.62 is a great price point. We come down and average down, um, getting in at $3.90, come down and average down at $3.62. Uh, still like what I'm seeing with the MACD and the momentum here. Uh, I think by Friday, this one's going to come back and try to attack uh, the red EMA. So we see the resistance on the red here on 12.13. And we see last week it fell all the way down below that. See a lot, a lot of manipulation um, at price points of 408. Um, and then also manipulation at uh, around the 388 to $4 range. And so a lot of manipulation. We see um, 4 million and 5 million shares coming in on those two days, respectively. Uh, definitely needs to cover that. Um, on the upside. So I think definitely by Friday, um, we're looking at anywhere between uh, 395 to 420. So anywhere between 15 and 9%. Again, on a short week, uh, end of the year, I think there'll be a little bit of a rally coming in um, the last couple of days just to try to get in uh, as cheap as they can. Um, but I do think uh, 362 is a great price point. We can get in this week on that. Next on the list is SoFi. SoFi comes in at a flat trend. Four cents overpriced at $4.57 true value. Let's look at SoFi. And um, SoFi has been pretty interesting stock this year. Called this one out a couple times. And let's look at the most recent call out. Um, Called this one out um, back in November, came down a price point, and in two days uh, turned around pretty nicely, um, looking like at about 20% in three days. Um, next time we called it out, called it out back in November 21st, came down a price point <clears throat> pretty quickly that week and just kept falling that week. And ever since then, when this one's been down, <coughs> excuse me. This one's been down about um, below about 15%, low of 4.24. And ever since this 4.24 on 12.7, when we've seen this one climb up um, anywhere 15% and also 11% in a, in a very short amount of time. So um, like this one at 4.47 this week, um, definitely like what I'm seeing with the MACD, below the midpoint, opening up pretty strongly. Um, momentum just crossed the midpoint as well. And uh, <laughs> excuse me, and definitely have some uncovered manipulation from back back when I called it out before. Looking at 99 million shares, um, buying around the $5 range, and also 76 million shares 
at the 491 to 467 range. So definitely uh, those need to be covered. And uh, we see the MACD, I'm sorry, not the MACD, but we see the Williams Alligators lines you know, real close together here. And uh, we definitely see this one coming into, I believe this one's coming into convergence. So we see um, this is going, moving down here. And price point here is moving down. So no, I'm sorry, it's not, it's already in convergence. Um, but we do see this one starting to look a little, little bullish, trying to look a little bullish here. So we'll see what happens this week in a short week. I do like it at 447 with the potential by Friday to get out anywhere around the <clears throat> 457, the $5 range, looking at about 13 to 2% by Friday. Next on the list is Viasat. Viasat comes in a negative two trend. Again, not, a, not one that... Uh, I'm in favor of when it's trending down, but I do see something in the charts that I really like. 38 cents over price, true value of $31.36. So a telecommunication company, a satellite company, via set. Um, they do government contracts for satellites. And so I've called this one out in the past. And um, I think the last time I called this one out, real quick, zoom back out. This one's a really good, uh, has a really good pattern to it. I called this now back in uh, early in the year in March and uh, definitely turned around pretty quickly, then hit its high that week. Um, it went from, uh, didn't actually come down to my price point, stayed above true value, uh, but it did move up to 52.72 from $44. And so you're looking at about 17%. Um, so <clears throat> that was the last time I called this one out. And uh, definitely see this one been above what I call the cake range. So this purple lines here or what I call the cake range. This is where the price wants to be. And so um, one thing about stocks is the price will want to be there, but they won't stay there, right? And so um, once we know where the price wants to be, we play against that. And so we see how this one works really well in this cake range. Uh, we see how it stabilizes here in the cake range for a little bit of time. Comes down, it's low 25.38, battles back, resists on the SMA, comes back into the cake range again, falls down again here, battles back, busts through the cake range. I'm sorry, resists on the top of the cake range, but busts through the SMA here. And then we see it supports here, and then resists on the top of the cake band here again. And we see it fail and fall down. Again, so we, we're looking for another attack on the SMA and another attack into the cake range. And so what I'm seeing here is <clears throat> the momentum is looking really good. Get ready to cross over the midpoint. We see a cross up on the um, MACD where it's going to wanting to start to turn uh, more, pull more volume in a positive way. We're also seeing that um, this one has crossed over um, the teal is crossed over the green. So I think by this week, uh, 3021 is a great price point to get in. I believe this one is also looking at this one. This one is into, this one's going into uh, convergence. So this one's divergent. So this is moving up. Uh, this is moving down. We see this cross up. See this cross up and this cross up. It's a great sign here. So if we line all these three up, this cross, this cross, and this cross, this is where uh, it wants to break out in a convergent way. And so um, 3021 is a great price point um, if we can get in this week at that price. And then <clears throat> by Friday, um, anywhere between 3117 to 3256, you're looking at about seven uh, to 73.6% by Friday. So really like ESAT this week. And then Verizon is my next call out for the week. Uh, minus two trend, again, another one trending down. 63 cents over price, true value of $37.78. I think we can get in a little cheaper than that. 
And uh, looking at Verizon, look at where I've called this one out a couple of times this year, here recently. Um, so <clears throat> early November, called this one out, came down to true value, did not come down to my price point. Um, turned around pretty nicely that week, um, just coming from true value, about 4%. And then uh, the very following week, called it out again. It did not come down to my price point, but it did come down to true value again. And by Friday, ended up about, about 3% again. And so uh, it was pretty much balancing uh, in this progressive band ever since I've called it out. Um, back in early November, ever since they hit a low of 34.55, um, this has been progressively moving uh, pretty steady here. And so I saw some support last week on this one. Uh, looks like early in the week, supported on this progressive band at the bottom. And we see a cross up here um, on the MACD. Momentum's already crossed over the midpoint. And I believe this one um, isn't technically bullish but we see some signs that it may be going bullish here soon. So I uh, really like what I'm seeing in Verizon. Um, this one is a dividend stock if you wanted to hold this one a little longer. Um, but this one is in, um, it is in divergence. I'm sorry, it's moving up. Um, this is moving down. It is um, in divergence going to convergence looks like here. So this is the cross up here um, that we're looking for. And so 3701, great price point, right on the bottom end of this of this uh, progressive band. And then by Friday, <clears throat> 3757 to 3885. So anywhere between five and about 1% by Friday. So that's my call outs for the week. Uh, this will be the last call outs for the year, obviously. And so I just want to thank everyone for uh, kind of uh, subscribing, uh, sharing, liking the videos. Please continue. I uh, plan to continue this going into 2023 and uh, learned a lot this year. First year doing uh, YouTube videos and uh, definitely been a very, very interesting year for, for myself. And so I'll continue to try to get better at, at the videos and Again, if you have any comments, any suggestions, please, please provide that for me. Um, I can only get better as you, you all uh, comment. So, uh, again, um, good luck trading this week and, and the short week we have here. And, uh, and happy holidays to all. Uh, be safe. And uh, thank you for watching.